How wonderful it would be if all living beings could abide in equanimity. That's an immeasurable wish. Without feeling close to some out of attachment, exaggerating, without feeling distance to others, out of anger, hatred, aversion, exaggerating. How wonderful it would be if they could abide in equanimity without hatred and attachment, that beautiful mind that has equal concern for every living being, regards every living being as precious and is concerned for each equally. So Geshe says it's like a mind that stares into a vast blue sky and doesn't prefer any part of the sky to any other part. So can you imagine if we had that mind towards others where everybody is important? We have equal concern. Actually, this comes from understanding the nature and function of the mind. Because if we understand the nature and function of the mind, we understand our mind has no beginning. Since our mind has no beginning, we have taken countless rebirths. In every rebirth, we had a mother. Where are all those mothers now? They're all the living beings surrounding us. And we regard every living being with this precious Mahayana view correctly as our mothers. So we can develop equanimity in this way. May they abide in equanimity is an immeasurable prayer. I, must, I will help them to abide in equanimity, is superior intention. Please, O oh Guru Deity, we're making a request. Bless me to be able to do this. So when we engage in these practices, what is happening is that we are realizing that without these good qualities, um, uh, we can't actually help others. So through making these special prayers, generating these beautiful minds, please bless me to be able to do this. I want to help others abide in equanimity. How can we do that? Only if we become a Buddha and have immeasurable equanimity ourselves. So actually these are all strengthening our wish. I must quickly progress and become someone who has the ability to do these things help others. Can you imagine if you had the ability to help someone not feel close to others out of attachment or distant from others out, out of hatred? There are problems. So many of our problems are caused by these unbalanced minds. If we could abide in equanimity, feeling equally concerned for all, so many of our daily problems would disappear. So we're investigating these delusions in our own mind. It's a very special technique encouraging us. I'm promising to help others do these things. I must um, improve my own good qualities, become powerful, able to help others in these ways. So living beings don't know how to be happy. How wonderful, um, because they lack what they desire if I could help them possess happiness and its causes. Living beings are afraid of suffering. How wonderful it would be if I could help others avoid the negative actions that are causing their own suffering. Bless me, empower me with your blessings to be able to do this. Improve my ability, help me change.